We know how important personal branding is in the real estate world, but what do you do specifically? I know this is probably, Joe, you might have to think back 18 months ago, but what do you do specifically to stand out from the rest of the agents in your, in your area? Joe, we might go with you first. Um, yeah, obviously the hot pink colour helps um, because I've worked for other brands where they've been very bland sort of colour schemes, the black and white, uh, the majority of the colours, um, and they're not very fond of you but, uh, branding yourself on the signboards and things like that. It's all about the brand that you work for. Um, so obviously the first thing I, I did when I decided to design my, my business or my marketing material was to completely go opposite to what everyone else was doing. Um, so the hot pink, my face on everything. Um, not that I want my face on everything. I'm, some people probably think I love myself or whatever, but I don't. Um, I cringe sometimes when I look at stuff and I just go, oh, well, at least it's working because everyone recognises me. Um, so all that sort of, I suppose it was nice to have that freedom of not having been told what, I, what style guide I need to use. I know you can't use this. When you do a letterbox drop, you have to follow these guidelines. Um, I just, yeah, that all that's really helped to, to brand our business. Um and yeah, everyone just remembers you. It's the face that's the main thing, being on everything. Definitely. And look, I think people underestimate how important it is because as humans, we remember faces yeah. uh, way before we remember people's names. And it's really important to, to make sure that that branding is. Joe, it's over to you. And look, don't I want also everybody to know that Jody and Joe have both had massive billboards in their <laughs> area as well Whoops. massive oh. in their areas as well that I think has has also helped Jodes went out on a limb one year when she was speaking with Arnold Schwarzenegger and Michelle um, Bridges and a whole heap of, and, she, and she put that up on a billboard which I think we all just loved Jodes I mean I think he uh he might have had even had wet dreams over that billboard I reckon <laughs> I saw it I saw it again the other day and I just remember speaking so for those of you who don't know I was doing a speaking gig Arnold was there and I had regular billboards from 2015 because um, I wanted to reach people that didn't know me, that were out of the area, that didn't had the no junk mail on the letterboxes and all of those. So I thought, what can I do? So I saw this billboard. So I started doing billboards. And because I did them regularly, the company would sometimes call me and say, Joe, I've just got a filler board here. Do you want to just do something for a month or just put one of your other skins up? Something like that. I go, yeah, sounds good. Let's do that. And I called and said, there's one on the Bruce Highway um, Australia Zoo usually have it, but where they're doing roadworks and it's going to come down in, so you can have it for three, four weeks or something like that. But it's massive, it's huge, so you've got to do a skin. And I'm like, oh my gosh, yes. So I just got a photo of Arnold Schwarzenegger, Michelle Bridges, <laughs> who are also speaking at the same event, not with me, but at the same event. <laughs> and we what put Glenn you was most horrified, was most horrified about was the fact that I made myself bigger than Arnold and Michelle <laughs> Bridges. So it was like, Jodie's here. It was like they were my support act. Um, yeah, probably a bit cheeky. Um, but anyway, and that got, so it got me on ABC radio. Then the TV channel started calling me to do when they wanted somebody to speak about things. And that launched a huge amount of clients that I hadn't heard from for years were calling me going, oh my gosh, what's going on? Are you speaking with Arnold? And I'm like, yeah, I know. It's awesome, isn't it? <laughs> and I was at the same event, but yeah. So at the same event. Yeah, I've actually stopped last year the billboards for the first time. So I did them from 2015. So for five years, I had my regular spot on a billboard. And because I wanted to take a step back and really train other agents and have other agents doing it, so I've taken myself off you know, my signs and things like that because I want it to be the brand, not me, and build others. Hasn't really worked out. <laughs> so I'm probably going back on everything. Um, cause it's just hard. Staffing, which I'm sure we'll get to, is a, is a challenge. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I started with the billboards, but now I do these magazines. So we've got a local company and they deliver these in the three main areas that I sell in. So I'm always just on the back cover. So there, again, this is one now with me off it. And that was one yep. with me on. Um, and they'd get delivered to, oh, my gosh, I think it's like 11,000. Wow. Go so out a month. And for what I pay, it's just awesome because, you know, how hard it is, everyone, to find reliable letterbox droppers and all of that. Yep. So I went off the billboards and now I'm just on the magazine. So these get hand delivered. And it's a good little news magazine. This is Bridge and Springs News. There's Eastern Beaches and the School and Beaches. And they deliver them for me. So they just have uh, magazines, Jodes, that you advertise on the back and the front? Is that what they correct, are? Yeah. So it's an independent magazine company, advertiser. And yeah, yep. I just have the back page. 